Hello, welcome back to the channel. This weekend, we're at Mill End Plants in Buntingford. This is our first CL site that we've visited so far. This site's a little bit different. The electric cook-up is pay-as-you-go. As this has been our first CL site, is this a common thing? Do most CL sites do pay-as-you-go electric? Drop it in the comments and let us know. But we thought we would take this opportunity to try going off-grid for the very first time. knows trying to go off grid with just using the 12 volt caravan battery is pretty difficult especially when you haven't got a 12 volt TV. So let's start by getting rid of a few electrical items such as the kettle. And we'll use this instead. We're also going to change the hot water onto gas. And if we need any heating that will be on gas too. Even the fridge is on gas. This is the S2000 power generator and two 200 watt solar panels from All Powers. They have kindly sent us this to review. We're not getting paid for this, so we can give our honest opinion and see if this does last us 48 hours. So here it is. This is what's gonna be powering our caravan for the next couple of days fingers crossed. Along the top there are four AC outlets. We also have two USB-C's. These are supposed to be fast charging as well. And we have four USB-A ports. There's also a 12 volt cigarette lighter. Now you do not have to be technically minded to figure out how to use this it's pretty simple there's only three buttons along the front it has a nice bright led display on here it tells you your battery how much is remaining we've charged this before we left here this shows you your wattage out and down here this tells you the amount of hours remaining if you hold, you need to hold these buttons down for a couple seconds. This turns on the Bluetooth because there is an app for this, which I'll talk about later. If we hold this one down for three seconds, this is the AC. You can hear a fan kicking in. And this is for your four AC outputs at the top. This is your DC. Oh. This one you only have to press lightly for it to come on. And this powers all your USB sockets and your 12 volt cigarette lighter. Over here, this is where your solar panels plug in. And this will take up to 500 watt solar panels. Around the back. <coughs> this is just uh, the charging point for at home with your three pin plug. There's a few ways you can charge this. You can charge it from your mains power through the back. That is gonna take about four to five hours. You can charge it straight from solar, maximum of 500 watt. There's no time on how long that would take because it really depends on how much sun you've got. The other way you can charge it is through solar and mains power and they're saying you can charge it within two hours fully charged but again if you've only got intermittent sun then it's going to take longer than two hours and the other way you can charge it is obviously in your car on the move you also get a nice handy little bag with all your charging cables in and in here you have your mc4 to xt60 for your solar charging you have a three pin plug if you're in the uk 
for your wall mounted charging and a car charger with a 12 volt cigarette lighter and that you can charge while you're on the move also you do get this nice bag to put the power generator in now i went and purchased one of these from amazon they're about six or seven quid it's just a three pin plug and an adapter so we can plug straight into the caravan from the power generator literally just gonna get your one end like usual stick that in there and at this end we're gonna stick straight into a caravan once you're connected up to a caravan just get your plug stick it in the AC adapter don't really matter which one then we're gonna hold down the AC for about three seconds you're gonna hear a fan kick in and then here it's going to tell you how many watts it's using so we're using about 32 watts and that is probably the charger on the caravan charging the 12 volt battery at this rate if we just was using that this would last 10 hours and 25 minutes let's go and stick the tv on and maybe a light right i've just stuck the tv on and one light and we're using 52 watts that's going to last five hours 42 ish minutes constantly if we were running it constant like that it doesn't sound a lot but i'm sure it will last all night for us and we will find out in the morning what we're left on so it's the evening now it's dark outside but we've only got one light on in here and we've got the tv on now hopefully we're not using too much power, but instead of us going outside to the power generator and checking to see how much we are using, you can get an app on your phone so you can stay in the nice and warm and check it from inside. It's called All Powers and it's pretty simple to connect. Just open up the app, it says Bluetooth devices, press on the plus button, down below just click on next step. And then you should see, after it searches, your power generator there. Now, you do need to make sure you have the Bluetooth switched on on the front of a power generator. So we're just going to click on this. And there we go. You can see it says we've got 100% battery there. 5 hours and 18 minutes at the moment. And that is with one light on and the TV bit further down you can see it says output so we are using 56 57 watts input is obviously zero at the moment because it's not plugged in to the solar panels you can turn on and off the dc or ac so if you wanted to turn on any of the usb sockets or the 12 volt socket you can just press that and that will turn them on the good thing i do like about the app is you can see the output and the input on the app where on the front of a screen you can only see the output so when you're connected to solar you'll see tomorrow you can't actually see how much solar you're pulling in if you're using it as well so the power generator is all set up and we're about to watch a film hopefully you can see us because obviously we've only got one light on because we've so got to be careful now <laughs> we're, we're living in poverty <laughs> no so we didn't tell you earlier that it does cost a pound well it's a pound you can put as many pounds in as you like but the pay as you go meter for the electric is a minimum of a pound and how much does that give you though so i have a pound just in case how much electric does that give you though it does say on the website. I'm gonna I'll check and I'll give you all the details tomorrow when we do our site walk. So there is a garden centre here. There's a we haven't really looked around because we got here a little late, and then we had a bit of a nightmare putting the caravan on the pitch. Didn't go to plan, did it? No. And it I took feel longer than usual. You last when we went away a couple of weeks ago, we banged it out of the park in like half hour. Do you know what I mean? But mm. today, like the awning was trying to, oh, yeah, it was just a bit of a nightmare. So we're going to have some good old rest and we will come back to you tomorrow with a campsite walk and 
I will show you those solar panels and hopefully we can get some charge back into our S2000. Because we don't want to put any pounds in that meter. No, we don't. No. All right, good night. Night night. Morning everyone, do you know what, it's a lovely day, the sun is out which is what I need because I'm going to show you the All Powers solar panels that they kindly gave us to test along with the S2000. Now we used this yesterday, I would try and show you the screen but with a shadow the camera isn't picking it up, let me see if I can get closer, can't clear. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? No, you just have to turn it. Right, okay, so we used 5% of 100% battery last night. We watched TV for about two hours. We had one light on um, and we did charge a few devices. And yeah, it only used 5%. I thought we was going to come back with about 50 or 40% less left. So tonight will probably be the biggest test because we're going to try and charge it back up with the solar panels. Now All Powers did give us two solar panels. These are 200 watt each. They are really light. They're not heavy at all. You can get a 400 panel on its own, but that one does look a bit big and bulky. These ones I think are gonna be a lot easier to store. And depending on the weather, like today, you could just get away with just setting one up and using it. But I'm going to set both of them up and we're going to see how much wattage we can get from charging it. You do get some cables that are in the back here and you just get like some crocodile ones. They go on like a 12 volt battery or something like that. You get this other adapter here, which you get some little adapters different ones and they can charge like laptops and stuff like that so you can just plug your laptop directly into the solar panel instead of actually plugging it into the power generator right i've just disconnected it for now from a caravan because this is one of my bugbears with this on the display it doesn't tell you how much wattage you're pulling in if you've got something plugged in it'll only tell you how much wattage is going out right you get your mc4 connector pretty simple to um, set up and you've got a male and female end on the back of a solar panel you've also got a male and female end female and male go together like so and then the connector just goes straight in the front like that and as soon as you plug it in you'll see the display come up and at the moment, we are putting in about 128 watts. And this is a 200 max solar panel. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to set up. Literally, undo the tabs. It folds out. You gotta get it the right way around, because I've just got it the wrong way around. There's just some legs on the back. They go down like this. Like this, like that. You can connect these two solar panels up together with that one lead, and then we should be generating about 300 watts of solar. You get your two connectors to connect the two solar panels together, exactly the same as before, male and female ends. You can't get it wrong. And then on the other panel, this is what I'm talking about. These leads are not very long at all. This could be doing with it being about another two foot longer. Then we get the other one. We connect that into there. 
and on this panel into there. We get our lead coming out of a solar generator with the two male and females. Stick one on there, this one in there. Now we'll have a look, see how much power we're generating. Now it's saying we are generating 227 watts input. Now, this panel could really do with facing the other way. So I'm gonna see if I can maneuver it, see if we can get some more wattage. At the moment, this is how I've got them. The only way you can have them because the cables just aren't long enough. Now you can see here, how long, how, how much they are stretched. You can get an extension, but you're gonna need two of them and they're 20 pound each. But at the moment we're pulling in 235, 242 watts of solar. Now the sun's obviously gonna move around. So as it does, we're gonna have to reposition these. All right, it's a lot easier to show you on the app but we are inputting 254 watts and we are using 84 watts at the moment. We're on 99%, but that's gonna to go to 100% and then, like I said before, it's gonna keep charging for at least another half hour or so at 100%. When we was using it yesterday, I did notice it was on 100% for ages. I think we watched about an hour's worth of TV, didn't budge off 100%. Right, we're going to have some breakfast and we're going to get ready and I'm going to show you around this lovely little CL site. We are now off to walk around the site, Mill End Plants. Yeah. A little CL site, there's only five pictures, we'll show them. Um, but good price, £20 a night, but it doesn't include electric. Uh, I'll show you the electric in a second. You do need to put a pound in and I think it's... 35 watts or something. I'll have a look, we'll show you anyway. I do want to show you though, our new awning carpet. Yeah, we purchased this awning carpet because everyone was saying, you need to get a carpet. But yeah, happy with it. Does a job, don't it? Yep. We just need to fill the awning now, Claire. The awning? Yeah, like fill it with stuff. Oh, fill it. Yeah, I mean, we've got these tatty little chairs. You That's quite it. like them though, don't you? It's just a chair. Yeah, I know, but I want, I want a comfier chair. We're going to leave these, this charging. To be honest, it's on 100% already. The sun keeps... Oh my God! What the... F it's just a bee. <laughs> it's just a bee, <laughs> I wonder what it was. It's a big bee though. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to leave these charging. This is the pitch that you get. Decent size. We've decided to go that way just because of the way the waste pipe is. Ours is on the back. You, and we haven't got a motor mover, so it's just a lot easier to um, stick our grey waste pipe straight down there. Also, it is fully serviced, apart from you need to pay for your electric. So this is the electric box. It's 30p per kilowatt hour work that out, I don't know what that is. And yeah, you literally stick a pound in and then you get some credit out there. I did stick a pound, a uh, couple of quid in when we first got here, just to set everything up. Yes, it's very quiet. <laughs> it's only us and, well, there was two people. One of them's gone. There's a motorhome over there and they look like they're going. But I think these, these here are coming back because they've left their ramps as well. We're just gonna go for a little wander. There's um, a small garden centre, I think they just sell plants. There's also a calf inside, so we're going to go and have a look at that. So we're going to buy some plants? No, I thought you were going to say we'll buy some cakes. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, do, we'll buy cakes. They do homemade cakes. And we're not good with plants. The pictures, are, yeah, the pictures we saw looks really nice. This is your entrance to the campsite with the five pitches on. See our caravans over there. It's really pretty. It's really nice. Nice and quiet, wasn't it, last night? Yeah, really quiet. And then your cars have to park here, so it's not that far, once you've got everything out of them. They also do caravan and motorhome cleaning service, with the old prices there. There's free Wi-Fi, which is really good. We use that to connect to Netflix last night. 
and this is your bins and awesome point yeah mind your head though I'm not even tall when I smash my head on that you get a key to the gate over here and you also get this fob and that lets you out the front gate which is electric and that shuts at four o'clock so you have to use that if you want to come in and out after four this is the entrance to the site dogs are allowed and there is a nice little walk that we're going to take up here to munch's wood <laughs> this this lane's a bit narrow isn't it claire very narrow especially a big lorry passed us yeah we gonna, got stuck did you film it yeah i think i was filming yeah we met uh an arctic lorry coming the other way and i thought one of us is gonna have to reverse here but luckily we managed to squeeze by After half an hour of walking, or longer, we found the pub. The pub is shut. The pub is shut. So no beer for us. Hot That's chocolate. Have hot chocolate in the cafe instead. And homemade cake. Yeah, 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 play. Yeah, do you want one? Uh, yeah, I'll have one as well, please. Very nice hospitality here. Oh, so yeah, they are. It's really nice. Um, we're going to go back, get two homemade pasties. We just had a couple of homemade cakes. Oh, they were so good. It was really good, wasn't it? Very yummy. <clears throat> With our hot chocolate. Yeah. And now we're going to go back. So our power bank's getting on. I think yeah. it'll probably be fully charged now. Oh yeah, definitely. Obviously, we're not using no power. But we're gonna then just chill out. A couple of crosswords. <laughs> <laughs> We had a nice chilled evening. Well, afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah, yeah. We, we had our pasta and then we literally sat and done nothing. Yeah. So <laughs> chilled um, out. Chilled out. The sun's gone in now, so I brought the old solar panels in, and we've watched the TV. What about an hour or so? Mm -hmm. So we are currently using 16 watts, and we're still on 100. percent So we've still got 17 hours and 47 minutes left. That's impressive. It is really impressive. Like to be honest. I didn't have high hopes for it, but you know, we'll get through tonight and we'll check it in the morning. But I think we might be able to have two lights on tonight instead of just one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just logged onto the app, and as you can see, 84%, three hours and 54 minutes remaining, and we're using 64 watts. We've got about four lights on the tv's on and the heating's on and we are using the blow heating so that does take a bit more power as well morning guys another gorgeous morning all the mornings we've uh, we've been here well the, the two that we've been here the sun's been out it's been really nice right let's uh, have a look and see how much power we had left from the s2000 after last night as you can see on 78 percent we're using 69 70 watts i think claire's got the tv on and i am charging my phone directly from a power bank i thought it'd be good to do a little test as obviously we're going home today if it can handle the electric kettle this kettle is 
1850 watts to 2200 watts so i'm going to plug it in and see what it does all right so we're up to 1963 watts and apparently there's seven minutes i don't think you can see it seven minutes left in six minutes left in the power bank if we were constantly drawing out that wattage i'm just interested to see if it's going to trip right so the kettle is nearly boiled there you go and we've still got 72 percent left there you go you can run high wattage appliances but in moderation i didn't fill the kettle right up i filled it up for enough for like two cups of tea um, it was still plugged in the caravan was still plugged in my phone was still plugged in we have a tv on in the caravan claire's mobile is charging in the caravan and we managed to pour the kettle and i think and we, now after all that we've still got 72 percent left so that time where it says six minutes that's if you ran it constantly for six minutes now if you've got a kettle that boils that long you've either filled it up too much or you've got a dodgy kettle Right, as the sun's out, I'm going to set the solar panels up and try and put some more wattage back into it. That's as best you can get it because these cables here are far too short. She's going to need the extension cables, definitely. Because obviously you can see the shadow on that back panel. But we are putting in, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, we are putting in 241 watts and we're on 72 percent and it's 9 30. so i'll check back in in a bit we'll see how we're getting on we've just been over to mark and jane's little tea room i've got myself a nice little sausage and bacon baguette very nice i didn't say earlier actually that um dogs are allowed even in the little tea room because it had a couple of dogs mm -hmm walking around didn't they yeah did. i don't i don't know what breed they were but they looked a bit old but they were i think they live at the site don't yeah because they? they were just wandering all over and they leave you alone but other people in there have got um their dogs in there so if you ever come here and you want to know if it's dog friendly it's definitely dog friendly we're just gonna have a cup of tea lee's gonna eat his baguette yeah and then we're gonna to start it. packing up yeah now, Jane and Mark did say to us, there's no rush for us to get off at any particular time. Um, I presume because it's quiet. Yeah, there's, they've, there's they've no, not one. Got no one. So, on here. if there's no one coming onto your pitch after, then they're quite happy for you to stay as long as you want, really. Well, in reason. Mm. So, yeah, we've got we've got no time to get off, but we're gonna pack up, and then because we're away next weekend as well, aren't we? Yeah. So we still have the solar panels and the S2000 power generator set up outside. As you can see, it has gone very cloudy. Right, back inside on the app, you can see it's 11 o'clock, so it's been an hour and a half. We started on 71%, we're up to 85%. And even though it's cloudy, we are, hopefully the camera's focusing, we are putting in 84 watts and we are using 16 watts. So we've gone over just probably about 14% in an hour and a half. Right, that's our two days off grid using the S2000 power generator and the two 200 watt solar panels from all powers. Now, there's two, a few things that could have been improved that I thought. One, these are pretty light. And if you're outside, and you've got them set up and it's a bit windy you may come back and find that these have fallen over within the wind so they're not really doing much good facing the floor there are little tabs on here that i did notice so you possibly could be able to tie these down um, with a guide rope and a peg maybe just to support them a bit more the other thing that's a bit annoying is on the front screen you can can't really see the input of how much solar you're putting in if you have it connected to say the caravan and you're pulling wattage out of it it'll only show you the wattage going out and not the wattage going in um, to see the wattage going in you either have to unplug the solars or 
go onto the app and then you'll be able to see what's coming in and what's going out. It's quite handy to know what's coming in and what's going out because if you're only putting in 60 watts of solar but you're using 130 watts in the caravan or wherever, whatever you've got plugged in, then you're not, you're never going to charge it back up. So you do need to kind of keep an eye on it so it's ready for the next night. I did read a, a few comments online about these and people were saying they're absolutely rubbish, blah, blah, blah. But you really got to use your head when you're using one of these because if you are plugging in high wattage stuff, i.e. kettles, hair dryers, hair straighteners, then they're not going to last. You need to really watch how much electric you are consuming. But overall it's given us all the power we've needed for the last two days. Would we re recommend this? I would re recommend it in the springtime, summertime, brilliant. If you can get the sun, then yeah, I think it's well worth it. Oh, We'd definitely, definitely be using it again. Yeah. If you're interested in any of All Powers products, there's an affiliate link in the description. If you use that, that'll just help the channel out a little bit. We've also got a 10% discount code for you, which is Caravan Trails. Uh, that's valid until the 15th of May. Once again, we'd just like to thank All Powers for sending this and letting us review it. We're packed up and ready to go. We've had a really nice weekend here. Don't forget, if you're in the area, to come and see Mark and Jane and visit the little tea, was it tea? Tea, tea room? room? Yeah, they do some really nice homemade cakes and all their food's really nice, is not yeah. it? Um, support a small business. Yeah, £20 a night. Um, it's pretty much a fully serviced pitch. Like I said, all you need to do is pay for your electric on a meter. Right, we are off to, where are we going next weekend? I can't remember the name. Graf Grafham Water. Grafham Water. So we will see you on that one. Don't forget, if you like the video, to subscribe and hit that like button. See you again. Bye. Don't worry, your body feels so tired.